Hello, YouTube Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of City Skylines, and yes, folks, we are back here in Burgerville. Yes, that was the name that was picked from the last episode. That name won by a landslide in the polls. It's actually uh, quite funny, but uh, we're going to go with that name. I know some people might be upset because it's not a realistic name, but honestly, it is just a game, and it kind of goes along with the channel here. So, where we left off, we were actually doing a pretty massive expansion here. Uh, we've got our residential zones through here that have been growing like crazy. Uh, demand is up. We're making quite a bit of money. Uh, you've got our commercial zone here in the center, and we've got our industrial zone here. Now, the ultimate goal of this episode is going to be to tie up some loose ends, and that's going to be in this little highway here and here. And it's going to be a little bit awkward, but I'm going to see how I'm going to do that. Uh, but first, let's go ahead. We've got some demands to take care of here. We've got commercial, residential. Commercial demand is going to be kind of tricky because I don't know where I really want to add commercial. Uh, the reason there's this blank space right here is because the highways are about to run over it. But, hmm, let's see. Let's go ahead and stick a highway up here. I know this is going to be a little bit of a, say, a waste of money. Uh, do we have the sound? Yeah, we do have the sound barriers. How much is the highway itself going to cost us here? So say if we were going to elevate this highway up, uh, I would say we would start about right, right in here. And let's go ahead and do that on both sides. That way we can actually get a good uh, even match there. So the highways would elevate... Heck, they'd probably have to go up even further than that. Hmm, let's go ahead, let's back off that real quick. So let's delete those. Uh, let's go back up here. Let's go, uh, I think about there should be fine. It should be able to cross the roads and it should look okay. So, got those even right there. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll have to correct that because it's going the wrong way. Uh, but once we do that, we're gonna move. Now let's see, what are we looking at cost-wise? About 8,000. It's not too bad, actually. So if we were to keep this at about at an angle, let's say, let's cruise it through to about right, right here. And th for some reason, this highway is kind of at an angle when it comes in, uh, but we're going to try to keep it even right through here. We want to keep a little bit of separation, probably like, like that. Okay, so we got the highway there. We can always make exit ramps come off of it. So this gives me a better idea as to where we can add some commercial. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, uh, hmm, let's go ahead and send this street out through, let's go about right here. So we'll do that. We'll connect those in that way. I kind of want to delete this street right here. Uh, I feel like these two little cross streets don't mean anything at the moment. Keep the traffic flowing up and down. So I think if we break off I don't want to break off right below the highway, but say if we break off like this, we might put commercial on this side too. I know it looks a little weird having them on both sides, but I'm actually okay with that. Let's go ahead and bring out this street over here, and we'll bring this street into this one here. So, we can add some more commercial here. Do we have this area covered with water? Almost. There's like one little section right here that doesn't have it, so we can do that. Uh, let's go ahead and add some commercial. We'll add it right by the bridge. I mean, I know it's not probably ideal ideal to have it here because of the highway, but the sound barrier should help with the noise pollution. So we've got that. Uh, we've got demands everywhere. So this is actually kind of crazy. Uh, let's go ahead and add another back section to neighborhood uh, uh, back over here. It's going to be kind of gridded, and we're going to keep it segmented it off. Uh, because we're about to run the highways by, and I want to kind of figure out where that's going to go before we uh, we really make a commitment here. Uh, let's just do cross streets like, oh, not like that. That was messy. That uh, curved at the last moment. Uh, but we're going to do cross streets like here. Let's go here. Mm, one more over. I'm going to be deleting some houses here. Uh, okay, i got to be picky here. I know one of these streets is going to throw it off by a block, I think. So it's that one there. Uh, that drives me a little insane, but we'll be okay. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and zone all of this residential. Let's go ahead and check our water sources. Let's get them out here, here, and here. 
So that should be growing rapidly. So we've got that, got a little bit more commercial. All right, let's go ahead and correct a piece of this highway. Okay, what we're gonna be doing out here, we're gonna actually delete a couple pieces here of highway because I wanna go ahead and start the curve because these, are, these things are gonna need to curve to this side of the industrial zone and they're gonna need to take a right and swing into this highway here. Uh, we'll think about how we're gonna connect this down here. I'm not 100% sure on this third piece of highway how that's going to tie in, but I want to at least get uh, some of this tied up first. Maybe we should go ahead and start from here, from up top the bridge, and then curve it around. So let's try to keep these even. We'll go to the grid here, and then we'll curve like so. This is going to be kind of expensive here, but this is going to be worth it once we get it figured out. So let's go like this. Okay. That was nice. And let's go this curve up here. And if we can keep these somewhat nice and even, I'll be satisfied. We're right on the line there. There we go. Ooh, that's actually, that's pretty close. It might gap off a little bit here in the center, but that is, that's pretty actually. <laughs> so we've got that going. Let's go ahead and start our sound barriers up here. Uh, we might not have quite enough money at the moment, but we'll see. Let's go ahead and start a slight curve Let's go here, and we'll go here. There we go. Okay, so these highways are going to start to go down. I know at some point we're going to have to uh, probably upgrade these highways, but I think for the time being, these are going to be sufficient enough uh, to get what we need done. Uh, so let's go ahead and make this one go down here. And then when we connect these, this should correct the traffic. I might have to use the mod to uh, redirect the highways here. I'm actually not happy with that angle. Uh, let's go from here. Let's curve in. We'll let curve into that highway there. Okay, that was nice. Let's go and do a straight piece to here. There we go. Okay, so this is where we need to go ahead and redirect these highways and uh, get them running the right way. All right, this should fix it all right there. Okay, so the highways are connected and heading in the right directions. Now it's going to be a matter of figuring out where the best exit spots are going to be. Uh, what we're going to do here, we've got industrial demand at the moment, and we're going to go ahead and let them, since I've got the highway figured out, I'm going to go ahead and give them a little zone right here, and we'll let them fill in right through here. Okay, so we've got that figured out. I'm not 100% happy with my commercial zone, and I still think this is eventually going to move somewhere else. Uh, but I am happy with the highways themselves. Now, let's go ahead and pay attention to... There's a lot of traffic coming here. And this is all industrial traffic uh, that's trying to come in. I kind of want to redirect them to the left and get them under the highway and onto this street. That would be a little bit of an odd exit ramp, though. Uh, but it would alleviate this traffic that we're starting to build up here because they're all exiting the exit ramp here. And then they're heading up and down to the industrial zones here. So, I believe that's almost just like a normal one-way road. Which, do I need it to be a one-way? Yeah, what we're going to do, we're going to make these one-ways. So, we're going to have a one-way coming out this way to get onto the highway. And we're going to have a one-way that's going to come around and, I think, circle into the industrial zone itself. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit of time here to figure out exactly how I want this to look, though. Because it is going to be a bit... I would say awkward looking uh, for the one exit ramp, but in order to avoid the residential traffic, that might be what I need to do. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, I figured out a solution. We're gonna use the traffic president to disable uh, all the industrial vehicles off this exit ramp here, and that should make it to where they use, it's called Blackwell Street right here. And that's going to bypass downtown, or the commercial district, and lead them right pretty much into the industrial sector here. You'll, you'll have this like uh, intersection right in this area. Now, as far as uh, industrial traffic trying to get out of the city, uh, they're still taking this because technically this is a two-lane. I know that's a little weird, but that's about to stop too. So we're going to have to figure out another, uh, pretty much another way to get them on the highway. They might have to just take a long way around. Uh, but we need to uh, go ahead, we're going to get rid of all the industrial vehicles here from this sector, and then we'll go ahead and reverse everything around, and it should, here they go, are they going to bypass into there, there we go. You know, we're going to allow them to go out of this district, it might create a little bit of chaos here, this might need to be a one way right here too. Uh, so let's disallow industrials there also. So that should split them off, 
I love that little traffic president mod. That's like pretty much a, a you need this mod uh, type deal. And okay, so some traffic still getting through. We might switch this. If I switch this to a one way, what happens exactly? So say if we were to go through here and go, actually I need to delete this road. Let's, uh, let's do that real quick. Let's go ahead and delete this exit ramp here. And we'll create a new one. Let's line it up with trees and make it pretty. I know I'm not actually using the highway exit ramps. I just like using these roads because they look a little bit nicer. Uh, so say if we connect that one there, we need to turn traffic president back on and we need to go ahead and restrict the vehicles once again uh, to no commercial vehicles. So that should make them bypass and go straight into the industrial zones. And that is a little bit of traffic management there. That feels good. Now I need to see, hopefully they really start using this to get back out on the highway and maybe there's a way to loop around somewhere in the map. So we've got that. Uh, also on this side, I kind of want to give them a way to get into the industrial zones over here. So I'm thinking right through here, we're probably going to create another road. And then we'll lead a road out and let them get back on the highway over here. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. It's going to be a one-way. Let's go ahead. We'll start about right here. And can we dip that off? Is that a thing? Uh, let's see. It says space is already occupied. It might be because... Uh, could be too steep of an angle. Let's see, can we drop it off like that? Oh, we can. Okay, that works. So, say for it to go about like this, there is a way into the industrial zone, and to get out of it, let's go ahead and give a one way over here. So, we'll go under the bridge about till about right there, and then we will go ahead and curve around like so. Is that at about a, almost a 90 degree angle there? And then we'll slowly just get onto the ramp there. That works. That should give plenty of options. That looks a little wonky, like that is way too wide. I'll probably wind up redoing that little section. That looks kind of strange. But I think that takes care of our traffic issue. We're going to have some backup right through here. Uh, so eventually we might need to upgrade this road. But, or, I, you know, I really could just turn this intersection off. Uh, that's almost, I wouldn't say it's cheating, but it's kind of a, eh, it's kind of weird how you can turn some of these off. So technically we say like we can go there and I think we can turn it off using one of these tools. I'm not sure exactly which one it is. I'm going to watch it a little bit and see if it backs up before I actually make that commitment. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and go back through here. Uh, we need more residential zones. Okay, so we're going to make our first land purchase here. We're actually going to purchase this piece of land right here. So we've got a new tile that way. Can we purchase two? We can kind of want to purchase another tile. I kind of want to just go ahead and buy this one and get it out of the way. Let's go ahead and do that. So I know that tile down here is kind of useless, but it's going to make it to where we can actually uh, kind of decorate some of this. Now, this is also going to help here because we are going to just back this highway up until we figure out how we want to connect it into the rest of the area. Uh, we're just going to back that up there. Okay, so we're going to do some more residential zones in here. You know, I really should have been placing the streets with the trees on it, so I'm going to need to go ahead and upgrade a lot of these streets. I uh, will just do that off camera. Uh, that way, you're not you're not just watching me upgrade streets because I, I really should have been using these. I like these styles a lot better, especially for residential zones. Is that actually... That one looks slightly crooked, and I'm not really sure why that came in crooked. Hold on. Is this road slanted? No, it's not. So if we were to come in straight off this road and we connect into here... Okay, it looks a lot better. I don't know why that came in crooked the first time. Okay, so we're going to do that. Let's go ahead and add that there. I know it already looks kind of weird having the different styles of road there, but we will correct that as soon as possible. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to add our more residential zones here. I want to continue this road that kind of goes up the beach, but I'm not sure how far I want to go with that. And then we're probably about to redo this over here. Uh, one thing I do want to do real quick, let's go ahead and check our healthcare. Uh, garbage is a little behind here. Let's go ahead. We're going to increase the budget on that and see if we can just get that to uh, to fix itself. We're going to actually raise that really high. See if we can get that garbage problem. Could also be some of the traffic uh, sources as far as the uh, garbage trucks getting in and out of the uh, industrial zone here. But anyways, we're going to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and check. Electricity, we're okay. Water, we're okay. Garbage, we need work. Fire, we're going to have to kind of maybe work with that a little bit it's elementary schools high school is what we need uh, we might be able to get away with just increasing the budget on that one too so let's go ahead and raise you up there 
Okay, so we've got that. Uh, looks like we might not be connected water-wise down here, so we're going to connect the water up through here. Okay, so we've got that. We've got the water running through this zone, and we'll connect it here. So we've got some more zones. That's good to go there. Uh, what we're going to do here, I don't like this gap. It looks really kind of weird and unnatural. Uh, so we're going to actually fill this gap in uh, with trees to make it look like it's just not a big empty space. Uh, just kind of make it look like they have almost like a wooded area behind them here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, fill this up. This is going to take a little bit because it's going to be some spamming of the button for a while. Uh, kind of need to get one of those. Uh, they have like a tool or a brush. And I know it's a mod. I need to find out which one it is again because I used to have it to do a lot of my parks. I'm going to spam uh, or at least get one of those little brush tools to do this with the trees. But we'll do this kind of manually here. All right, as I was spamming trees there, we are now at Big Town. We are at a population of 7,500. Uh, we're working it pretty good right now. We've got uh, quite a few new policies, a lot of stuff that we can start to work with here. Uh, my ultimate goal here is to get the land value really high and get the, uh, the happiness really high here in the uh, residential zones. Uh, so we're going to probably play with some new policies here. Kind of like the way that looks. I feel like this still needs to be even more dense. You know what we could add? Which I think this would be actually really cool. We could add some like bike paths through here. Say this is almost like one big park here behind these uh, houses. So say if we wanted to go... Can I do this without tearing up people's houses? There's not really many gaps here. So we're, we're going to have to probably commit here. Maybe we'll place a park and make it branch off from there. So let's go ahead and grab our parks. We can probably do one of the bigger ones that we couldn't do earlier. Uh, let's see. I think it's this one right here. What would I want to take out? Maybe right here in this section. We'll go and place this park. There we go. That gives us paths that we can now branch through this area and make it look like just one big park. And I've noticed, I don't think it's stopped raining since the first of this episode. It must be that time of the year. It's kind of in May. It's kind of strange. I think it's been raining the whole time, and I just now noticed that. Uh, so we're going to branch off some uh, stuff through here. We need to go ahead and fill this area in, too. This is kind of our education area, and uh, we just haven't been able to add anything to that yet. Ah, yes, it's finally stopped raining here in Burgerville. That only took, like, almost, I don't know how long I've been playing now. Almost close to probably 30 minutes to an hour for it to stop raining. Uh, but anyways, uh, we're ready to go ahead. Uh, we're going to be placing a couple of these paths real quick. And uh, I think these paths are going to go all the way through here. And then I might stick another park on this side. Let's go ahead and stop that path real quick. And have another park here on the other side. That way it looks a little bit more natural as far as these paths where they're going to exit. Uh, so if we were to stick another park here, let's go with another, I don't want to go with a really huge one. Maybe this one here would work. So go like this. So it makes everybody a little bit more happy there. I know it's going to be a dirt path into a uh, little concrete bike path here, but that shouldn't be uh, too much of an issue. So let's do that. It's going to connect you into here. Let's go ahead and do, uh, should I do some more gravel paths through here? Maybe we'll connect a couple more, maybe into here. And we'll just add a couple more little paths in here and just try to make it look busy. We'll probably give them another bike path that breaks off. Uh, might still cut out a house or two here, maybe right in this section, and connect a bike path into here, uh, if it'll allow me. All right, so we've got these paths connected, and we're going to add one more park over to this neighborhood. It's going to be a little dog park, so that should work, and you can actually see there is people riding bikes in and out of this park now, so... That looks a lot better right there because it's now more filled up. There's still a kind of an awkward gap in here, and that's going to be when we redo this whole area down here. Uh, we'll figure out what we're doing. Uh, we're getting some trash emblems. Let's go ahead and check trash availability real quick. And actually, I think it's time to go a little more green here. Uh, we can put a trash plant in, and it causes light pollution. I think this is going to be good. I think we're going to actually set up one of these and eventually... Uh, We'll get to uh, to where we can maybe do more wind farms and stuff like this, and we can just burn our trash for the time being. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and connect you over here. That is an expensive plant, but I think it's going to be worth it. Do they have access to the highway? I really need to give them access to the neighborhood f through a road. Uh, so let's go, let's go ahead and bite the bullet here. Pay for that, and we're going to run a... 
We're going to run a road, and let's keep it a one-way. No, I don't want to keep it a one-way. Let's go and leave it a two-way road. And we're going to connect it up through here. So that means the garbage truck should be able to get over to the neighborhood a little bit faster uh, from the plant here. So that's good. It needs water, apparently. Oh, that is just right on edge. Let's go ahead and just go like that. There we go. Cool. Okay, so we've got that plant up. That should start burning some of our trash. Hopefully alleviate that. Uh, let's go ahead and check the budget again. Let's just max out that budget on garbage right now. That way we can keep this rolling. Because I hate when you get backed up on. Garbage and bodies are like the worst thing to get backed up on in this game. So that's not bad. You know, I probably shouldn't have planted those trees there. Of course, they're going to be polluted. Uh, but you do see that we got a garbage truck using this road now, which is good. Uh, they seem to be flowing off of this. I don't like how they're stopping to get off of that. Um, maybe that should just be an exit ramp road. Seems like they're kind of stopping on the highway. Uh, they're using this pretty good, but I still don't like the angle on that road there, but we'll fix that. Over here, this is beautiful. There is no backups on the highway on this side. So I like the way that looks. I'm still debating here to get rid of some... Uh, Maybe one of these roads, but not 100% sure. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and add a little bit more to the industrial sector here. Uh, we're going to give them another street. I'm not going to connect the street down here because I feel like that's already going to be busy enough. Uh, but let's go ahead. We've got the demand right now. Let's go ahead and give it to them. Uh, we can start making some more money that way. So we're going to do that. Uh, let's go ahead. I guess we need to go ahead and check that water again. And of course, the water is right on edge. Let's go up to here. There we go. Okay, so we've got that. Now, we need to address here. We've got everything else flowing. we got demand for commercial, but to be honest with you, I think I'm eventually going to convert this over to residential and then move commercial. And what I was thinking, commercial still needs to have some access to industrial as far as I think the goods go. Uh, so maybe in here, uh, we've got this train track, which we're going to go ahead. Let's go ahead and pull this back. We can always... Uh, redirect this. I think this train track's gonna eventually connect to this one up here and then we'll have like a station or something along the uh, industrial sector back there. Uh, but let's go ahead and see. Oh heck, we already have office zones and everything. Uh, we don't, I don't think we're quite ready for office zones, so we're not gonna, we're not gonna tackle those zones yet. Uh, but let's go ahead and add a connection. No, that's not gonna be even. Let's go ahead and overlap that. Add a connection here. So we'll get a street started over here. Let's go ahead and run water out real quick. And let's run one there. Let's run one here. Okay, so we've got that run out. And we've got water here. I kind of want to just build a complete section over here. So let's say... Let's go out through here. Let's go out towards the lake area through here. And then let's make one row, or one grid, basically, here. And then we're going to do maybe a curved road from there out to out to about... Would that be an awkward intersection if I did that? Not really. I think that's okay. So let's do that. It adds a little bit of shape to this area. Uh, so let's do that. Can we get a straight road maybe through... Oh, that almost lines up perfectly. A little off, right, okay, right there. So we've got that, and then I think either we can add it, another road through here. Actually, we might make this, we might make this something here. Maybe we'll do a specialized building through here. So this is going to continue this gapping between our districts, and this district's going to disappear hopefully relatively soon. Uh, let's check water availability. Let's go and go a little bit more out. Let's try to make this even. A little bit more out to there. And then let's go ahead and zone this. Do we want to do high density? Let's keep it a kind of, let's keep it low because I don't think this is going to be a downtown district. I think this is still going to wind up being morely a, a a low end, low low end commercial, I would think. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's zone that. Let's zone this. They're probably going to need a electricity. I get a little temporary line run out to them here. I don't know if that's really going to make a difference, depending on where they start to build here. So we're going to do that. We need to look at some transportation here soon, because I'm going to need to start shuttling people around the city. So we've got that. We're in the positive right now. And I'm going to go ahead. Let's dezone this. We're going to slowly start to dezone this, and we'll reform these roads. I think we can keep these roads through here uh, once we convert that over to uh, 
residential. So say, don't want to go ahead and cut it out. Uh, this is going to be a big hit money here, but I'm going to go ahead and dezone this and then rezone it as residential and let them expand. Okay, so zones are redone here. As you can see here, commercial is gone from this area here, and we're now going to move all commercial out to this district here. I think maybe they need access to the highway, so potentially I could break off uh, maybe a piece from this ramp here over to here if they want to get if they need to get vehicles maybe in a little bit more efficient manner but we're gonna wait on that for the time being but we're gonna go ahead and start letting them kind of redo this uh, we did lose a little bit of money uh, but I think that this is gonna work as far as uh, an organic food so like how did that not get these own there we go huh that was weird but anyways we're gonna let them uh, it's kind of start resurfacing so this is gonna take a little bit of time here uh, money wise but I think the districts are gonna be a lot cleaner having it set up this way okay so while those areas are developing there we're gonna go ahead we've still got industrial demand uh, so we're gonna actually move out and I don't really want to cut we're gonna move some of this wind farm is what we're gonna have to do here uh, we're gonna allow this to come out let's see what would be a good grid here uh, let's go ahead we're gonna move the wind farm out this way uh, so let's go ahead and move that one move that one can we move and then once we buy this land up here we'll kind of expand it out but uh, but we got such a high demand for industrial and I, right now there's no way I can't not do it and I need to go ahead and take advantage of the money here there they go they are popping up like crazy oh that's insane let's go ahead and check our districts here uh, the industrial sector needs to be a little bit more cleaner there you've got that uh, residential let's go ahead and expand that district down it should raise some uh, property values there I feel like we're doing pretty good here uh, we've got our new commercial district lined up apparently we don't have water run out this way yet let's go ahead and run this here run that over here and here there we go so it should correct that water is still on edge we can always increase the budget for that one uh, but I feel like we actually have a pretty efficient city here uh, so what we need to look at now let's go and look back at our elementary schools okay those are starting to get full and high school demands uh, they're still up there so I feel like we need to add a second high school and that's what I had this little uh, we'll call this the education square for so let's go and add a high school over here and that should really help this district out and then elementary schools, uh, I think we can maybe get away. What's our budget look like on that? Let's go ahead and just increase the budget and see if we can get more people stuffed into these schools. I don't think the budget was going to help with the high school, but the elementary, I think we can get them covered that way. So you hear all the little dings going. Uh, that's actually a really good sign. So we've got that going for us. Uh, garbage processing has gotten better, but I still don't think it's, it's not quite there. And really, you guys demand it, and now we don't have enough workers. Uh, we really need to do some sort of transportation thing here. Maybe get a bus line moving. Uh, we got a bus depot. We got a biofuel bus depot, which that might be a part of the Green Cities DLC. Maybe we should do that. Uh, even though it's probably, what, how much more? Oh, it's about 10000 more. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. We're going to stick this bus depot. Let's start it off. How about here on the corner? That feels like an appropriate spot. So let's do that there. So we've got that bus depot. We need to go ahead. We need to create a bus line. So... Let's start the line here. We'll have it, uh, I guess, curve around through here. Find a logical way to add a stop here. Uh, that looks like it's really wonky. Let's go ahead. Actually, we'll go ahead and make it go into here. So we'll add a bus stop maybe through here. We'll add one over in the middle here. Have them curve around. They need a couple in the industrial zone here. And let's go maybe back through here to try to get some workers out. And then we'll have it cut all the way back around. Uh, we'll have it come through maybe here. I know my bus lines don't always make sense. Uh, let's make it run through about here by the schools and then maybe come right back around uh, on this side of commercial and complete the line through here. So let's do that. That should... Oh yeah, there go the, uh, the bio buses. I don't think they look any different than the normal buses, but I guess it's just a little bit cleaner. There they go. They're going to start picking people up. you got people lining up here at the actual depot itself. Okay, so that's going to alleviate traffic a little bit there. Uh, we are rolling. Uh, somebody suggested, now, which I do have them moved that way, my police station and fire stations being really close to each other. 
Uh, so that's good there, but I'm pretty sure our fire coverage is kind of lacking, is it not? Uh, let's check here. Fire coverage. Oh, it's a little red. Uh, I feel like we probably can do one more station and then increase the budget. So we, the commercial district probably needs a station too. So let's go ahead and stick it under the bridge here. There we go. So that ought to help a little bit. We can always increase their budget a little bit too. So let's go up on that. Uh, not healthcare, fire. And let's go up a little bit on police. There we go. Okay, we're going to go ahead and expand out our commercial district again. Let's go ahead and do... Let's just do one more line here. And we'll connect it in like so. And do we have our water... Oh yeah, it, it almost reaches. There's a little spot here and that bugs me that, that barely gets through. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and let them have some more commercial here. We'll do it there. And we'll do it on this side of the road too. Here. So there we go. I still got residential demand. I feel like maybe we can grid off a little bit more here and maybe create some more cross streets. Something like that cross street's not going to work. Maybe we'll expand out this way. Maybe we'll do something like we'll go out till about here. Actually, let's make that road match. I know I started some of the tree lined roads, but we're going to stop that for the time being until I uh, figure out how I want to completely upgrade those. Is that cricket? Oh, that is cricket. How did that happen? Okay, let's go and delete that. Uh, let's make this overlap a bit. And let's make it go straight down like that. There we go. Looks a lot better. So we'll do that. Is this is this even? Oh, yes, it did turn out even. Okay, that's good to go there. Let's go and delete that little bit of overlap there. And let's make sure our, our water gets out. Okay, so I'm seeing trash again. Trash is becoming a thing. So before we place this residential zone... Let's see what we got going on here. Let's go ahead and delete these. This line is good, I believe, now. Is it not? Oh, yeah. They're connected. Okay, so trash is definitely becoming a thing. I can open up another recycling center, which maybe that will help here. Mmm. Kind of stinks getting backed up already. Okay, we're going to put another recycling center. Let's put it on the corner right, right here. And hopefully we'll get some more trucks moving. And let's go ahead and increase their budget. Their budget's maxed. So that is going to be an issue we're going to have to figure out relatively soon. Uh, but we got some more trucks on the job at the moment. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's zone in these two zones here. And let's watch them pop up. And we should be good to go here. All right. That's probably going to about wrap it up for this episode of City Skylines. We need to go ahead and get rid of Fairview Hills. Because that used to be our commercial zone. And that is no longer a thing. So let's get rid of that. And let's go ahead and connect the rest of this uh, new residential into there. Uh, but we made quite a bit of progress here today. We are almost at 10,000 population. Uh, hopefully this trash issue fixes itself here fairly soon. Uh, now that I have a little bit more coverage, we need to get rid of that landfill over there. But we were able to go ahead and connect. And right as I say that, we are having power issues. Let's go ahead and increase that budget up. There we go. Shoot them both up a little bit. Actually, quite a bit. See if that covers it there. Almost. I feel like it actually needs to be even more. Huh? Let's go ahead and let's max it out real quick. See what that does. Oh, we might be adding some more uh, power things here before the end of the episode. It barely covered it. We're going to have to probably do that to first the next episode. But anyways, uh, that's going to wrap it up. Uh, we did quite a bit here. We got our new commercial district. We've kind of squirted this residential out a lot more. Uh, same with the industrial district. Got the new highway connected. And we have this nice, clean-looking gap in between everything right now. So I'm uh, relatively happy with that. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for the City Skyline series, comment below. If you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time in City Skyline. Thank you.